Seniors, welcome to fourth quarter. Welcome to the new normal, I guess. Um, I think that we'll get through this as long as we work together. And uh, a couple of things to help us remember how to get through things. The first would be uh, a quote from Benjamin Franklin. And it says, without continually, continual growth and progress, such words as improvement, achievement, and success have no meaning. So as we checking out Ben Franklin here, he's been sitting on the file cabinet over the last couple of years. Ben Franklin talking about progress. Well, I've always used the word progress in my classroom. And where we head right now, we need to make progress over the next few weeks, no matter what uh, the future entails. And so, and that's our job. That's my job as a teacher. And that's my job. And that's your job, excuse me, as a student. And uh, the end, the end is quickly coming. So we need to be able to make progress. And we have Ben Franklin to thank for that. Um, the other thing that I would like to look at this week is uh, we have a couple of journals that we're going to uh, finish up and that's kind of going back on some of the uh, couple of the things that we had hit on before. Uh, the first one is climate change. Hopefully you like my, my tie here. Seahawks and the tie. Uh, but the first one is about climate change. I know that we finished that unit a little bit uh, a couple weeks ago, but again, this is enrichment, so we're supposed to be reviewing and giving this a go. So uh, we never really did write a journal, so we're going to do journal number six. That's the first thing that you have to do this week. And it's a little bit shorter, but uh, essentially journal number six is After finishing the climate change unit, will that affect where it is you will choose to live later in life? Yes or no, and why? Now, that's the first journal article that you're going to do, and I'll leave it up there again if I can get rid of the glare. And uh, I would like that to be maybe a third of the page. It doesn't have to be the normal half a page. And you can type that up on a on a normal Google Doc and then share that to me through Classroom. I'll put it on Google so that you know where to put that. Um, also, just go ahead and do journal number seven right with that. And that is uh, really applying to your life for today. And I've I mentioned to a lot of people out in the public, but uh, really what we should be doing is journaling to describe what life was like at the beginning of the coronavirus um, issue here. And so that's journal number seven is describe three specific changes to your life that have been brought on by the coronavirus. I mean, already as of maybe last week or this week and, and you know, obviously we're trying to move into the new normal, whatever that might be. And uh, so I just, I want you to reflect on that and, and tell me about how your life has changed. So Go ahead and do both journal number six and number seven on the same Google Doc. And then you'll be able to turn that in through Classroom. So that's the first objective for this week. And that should take you, I don't know, maybe a half hour, 45 minutes uh, working on both of those and, and uh, get that turned in by the end of the week. Now, the second one and the third one both deal with uh, immigration. And the first thing that I want to talk about with immigration is you guys have all had the packets and, uh, you know, whether it's, whether it's the guy back here, JFK, who spoke very highly of immigration back in the early sixties and I was using him for the juniors or maybe Ben Franklin or even George Washington, as he's quoted in, in the beginning of the immigration handout. But as we begin to look at the, the theme of immigration this week and, and into next week, I think probably uh, one thing that <clears throat> comes to mind is the Statue of Liberty. 
And so what I want to do is I want to read, not read, but I want to listen to somebody else read. This is Emma Lazarus' poem, The Colossus, which is the basis. In fact, it's on the, the base of the Statue of Liberty. And it's that it's the thing that all immigrants are looking at and Americans that we are looking at what our country is based on. So I'm going to play this. The video is about a minute long and, and we'll be able to listen to it in the background. And then uh, I will go on to explain what objective two and objective three are about. The New Colossus by Emma Lazarus Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame With conquering limbs astride from land to land Here at our sea-washed sunset gates Shall stand a mighty woman with a torch Whose flame is the imprisoned lightning And her name, Mother of Exiles from her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome. Her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbor that Twin Cities frame. Keep ancient lands your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. I think Emma Lazarus' <clears throat> poem that now serves as the inscription at the base of the uh, Statue of Liberty serves as a good start for us as we look at immigration, I think that most of you have probably already started. But as you can see, the second objective is to read pages 1 through 14, which is part 1. My name is Safia al Hilo, and this poem is called To Make Use of... Apparently, I thought that I had gotten rid of that. My fault. But anyway, the second objective is to read pages 1 through 14. And I would like you to journal again. This will be journal number 8. Upon reading of the early history of immigration to the U.S., describe to me your family's history. What country of origin did they come from? Um, for some people, you will be able to go into quite an in-depth history. Um, for others, you might have to ask your parents for the first time, where, where is it that I come from? Am I German? Am I Irish? Uh, do I have a little check in my background? So feel free to visit with your, with your family about where it is you come from. And, and uh, I think that should be a good family discussion and family uh, conversation, maybe over, maybe over the dinner table. The third objective for the week Sorry, still getting used to this. And I will put this on classroom as well. Ugh. Is to read part two, uh, pages 15 through 30. And then I'm going to have a flip grid for you to respond to uh, at the end of the week. I want three specific points that you learn from part two. Excuse me. And then, of course, that link and pass code will be on Google. Again, that same page that I just showed you, I will upload that to Classroom. But I just wanted to at least uh, meet with you this week and, and do that through video. I do not plan any Zoom for this week, uh, it, but it could be something that we will do uh, for the following week. And so if other teachers are having you do that, or uh, maybe, your, maybe your place of work or family members, whatever the case might be, uh, look for that down the road. I think we could get some good deliberation. And uh, as long as we can uh, have a couple of different times 
for that Zoom to be done. So uh, those are things that I'm thinking about and uh, looking at for down the road. My office hours technically are from 8 to 9 in the morning and from 8 to 9 at night. Uh, but all you have to do is you have to email me. And if you need to contact me at a different time, um, worst comes to worst, you can call me. Uh, all of my contact information is on the school's website page if you click on that Google Doc for me. And uh, I'm here to help you, but email is probably the, the best option. And then we can do a phone call. Um, I would rather not text, but if that's the only way that uh, we can communicate, then we can. But anyway, exhaust email and phone call first. And uh, give me a little bit of time. I'll usually have my computer open on in the mornings. So if you have questions, do not hesitate to email. And uh, thank you for stepping off into the unknown here and uh, trying to adjust to the new normal. And uh, I just thank you for going along on the ride with me. Go Seahawks.